guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be all about press on nails yet again. You know I love them. Have a couple videos about them here on the channel. Mostly try on videos, kind of a full blown why I like press on nails, tips to get them to last. All that will be linked in a playlist I have on them. But today's video is going to be about my favorite styles from Impress specifically. Probably my number one question I get in videos is what's on your nails? Most of you at this point know they're press-ons because you know I'm a fanatic, but I always forget to list the style and more often than not I've had them on for a little bit and so I've thrown the box away and I can't actually tell you the style. So even though it looks like I probably cycle through a lot of different nails, I actually have some really good go-tos. And granted Impress does release a lot of new styles relatively frequently, seasonally, as trends come and go. They're pretty good about that, but there are are some mainstays like one of these I think was the first style that I'd ever tried from them like when I started blogging or vlogging like five or six seven years ago I don't even know how long it's been at this point but they've been around for a while and so these are some styles that you can pretty much always count on picking up I got these at Walgreens just because they were having a buy one get one half off but I purchased them at CVS they carry them at drugstores and Walmart I mean they are pretty much everywhere at this point so really wherever you get or like whatever drugstore or grocery store you go to chances are they will have even a small selection of these and it does vary by store so if you're not seeing these exact nails in one place like a CVS, go check a Walgreens or your grocery store because I have noticed that they do stock different stores with different styles. So just a hot tip. So let's go ahead and kick it off. First starting with what is on my nails. Actually, let's talk about what's on my eyes first because there will be a tutorial coming for this soon. I've been getting back into the shop my stash slash throwback tutorial videos. And so I, I did one last week using the Lorac Pro palette. This by a request from some of you guys is the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette really like how it turned out so be sure and subscribe stay tuned for the video that will be coming on this look then on my nails today while i really like this style i'm not sure how long lived it's going to be for the brand it's this very beautiful like grayy blue kind of like a muted periwinkle but maybe a little less purple in it i don't know it's so so beautiful and it is in the style bright as a feather there is an accent nail in here it's kind of a stained glass style but to be honest it's i'm not a fan of the accent nail because it looks like there's an applique over top, like over a pearl finished nail, and the applique doesn't go all the way to the edges. And because they're like a thicker nail anyway, and what I found with Impress is those thicker nails, the more rigid nails just pop off on me instantaneously, I decided for me, it was not worth it to apply that accent nail. One, because it wouldn't last, two, because I'm just not a huge fan of it. So just keep that in mind with this or maybe any style that you're looking for. All right, now onto the styles. First of which are mattes. I love matte nail polish and part of the reason why I love press-ons is because I can never get matte nail it's just so such a finicky finish on natural nails I find when you apply your matte top coat you have to let it dry perfectly you can't have any imperfections in your nails otherwise it just gets emphasized so so much with that matte top coat and then it doesn't last on me I mean matte top coat is probably the most brittle chip prone uh, top coat that I could ever apply to my nails so I just never bother but thank goodness probably uh, two years back, I want to say, Impress came out with some matte finishes. And the two that I always reach for year round because I always love a good dark nail is a matte black. This one is in the style Claim to Fame and it also has ac accent nails. I do like these better because they go all the way to the edge. It doesn't look like they kind of miss the edges a little bit. It really is an edge to edge, really fun, hollow like silver, but holographic shifty stained glass kind of look. Again, it, it's a thicker nail, so it tends to pop off on me. And I also just love the look of a uniform matte black manicure so more often than not I won't use the accent nails in these but they're there if you like them and then another one of my favorite I mean these are probably the ones that I have worn the most is a navy blue style this is in the style bells and whistles and it comes with a glittery nail and these across the board with impress I find glittery nails are the thickest that they have so they just pop off a little bit faster so I don't apply them all the time maybe if it's an occasion where I you know want to wear a glitzy kind of nail I'll pop it on but only knowing that it's gonna be the first one to pop off I'll either have to replace it with another glitzy nail or another matte nail but these are my favorite matte styles. Now onto the glossy finish nails that I love. These I find the finish lasts longer while the matte finish and the press-ons last 
I mean, leagues longer than a, an actual polished top coat. I do find that the finish on these will wear away at the tips. Like at the end of a week, you'll definitely be able to tell where it's worn down. Whereas the more polished and shinier finished nails, they just have a little bit more give with them. I find I can go longer without them showing wear and tear as much. So as you're weighing, you know, maybe cost is the big factor for you and you want these to last as long as possible, then maybe you want to reach for the, the shinier top coat if you really don't have a preference over the top coat, but just something to be aware of. I do find the glossy ones last a little bit longer or wear a little bit better long term than the matte. But back to the glossy shades I actually like. Glossy? No, that's, I'm, I'm in like face makeup world. It's more like the high shine lacquer finish that I like. That's probably the better word. First of which is Harlem Shake. This is such a beautiful, soft, dusty mauve kind of shade. It's my go-to for like a very subdued sort of nail when I don't want like full matte black or, you know, any kind of bolder color. This is my go-to for a neutral shade. It also has accent nails. I mean, these, these are not my favorite anyway. They're like a glitter pattern. So you have them in there if you want them, but I personally just love the solid color that comes in this. Then if I'm going in for a pop of color, it is always a classic. These vibrant blue based reds, they do have a gold glitzy accent or a few gold glitzy accent nails. These are in the shade Tweetheart, and I'm pretty sure this was the first ever set of nails that I'd ever used from Impress. Back in the day, I got them first in a Vox box, I think, from Influencer, and yeah, this is what made me fall in love with them. So they are obviously a mainstay, and they've actually also expanded these into the medium length, which I really, really love. And I think they've kind of changed the format. I, there's something different about them because when I first tried a medium length, they were like too long and clunky and awkward, but they've done something to them now where they feel just as comfortable and natural as the short length. So I highly recommend you check those out as well because I've tried them and really love them. Then my last go-tos are the oval cut nails. And I have a style here that's not exactly what would be my go-to, but it's an example of a high shine oval that I like. They have some matte ovals that I like, but because the matte just doesn't tend to wear as well super long term, I tend to go for a glossy one, especially since the added length here means that I see, I feel like I see that wear sooner. And so I tend to go for a glossy one over a matte in this style, but I just love that you can get press-ons with the adhesive pre-applied. They last super long, but they're in that super flattering oval shape. So the shade that I have is Next Wave. It's this soft kind of peachy pink a great shade, a great go-to that I like to wear a lot, but when it comes to the oval nail, it's it's for me, it's more about the finish. So these are great, but there are a ton out there. Alrighty guys, that wraps it up for my most reached for or most purchased press-on nail styles from Impress. I'd love to hear what yours are, wh whether they are from Impress or another press-on nail brand. Trust me, I am always in the mood to learn and try another press-on nail brand. So let me know that down in the comment section below. Besides that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope this video was useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.